Welcome to my studio. As promised, I'm going to start doing some instructional videos. But first of all, let's take a look at what we have in the studio. First of all, there's me. Now look, you don't need a lot of supplies. When I first started off painting, I thought I had to have every brush in the world. And if you look closely behind me, you see I've got quite a collection. And I've actually thrown quite a few out. But just take a look over my shoulder. That's way more brushes than what I need. But now that I got them, eventually I find uses for them. What I like to do is just use that set of brushes on the table. That's everything you need. Mind you, you will need a blender brush. You you know, to take away sharp lines because nature eh, is not full of sharp lines. The further a mountain is in the distance, the more blurry it is. And if you have sharp lines, that's just going to bring it up. So yeah, you will need a blender brush, a one inch flat and a two inch flat. You know, those are basics for landscaping. But you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars buying every single brush. I, I went through, through a phase where every time I saw paint brushes, I had to have it. And now a lot of them I don't use and they just hit the garbage. So trust me on this. You buy some good brushes, they will last you a long time. I will teach you how to take care of your brushes so that you're not losing hairs and they're not losing shape. But trust me, do not go out and go crazy and buy yourself 200 brushes when in actuality you're going to use three or four in a painting and that's it. So, again, this is my studio. I have a beautiful view out the window except they're putting a condominium out there. Um, takes away my view of downtown Toronto, which is kind of sad, but we learn to live with life changes. If you look way up there, you're going to see my favorite hat. This is something that I have to use every time I paint. It's just become a habit. It's kind of like some hockey players have favorite socks. Football players might have a, you know, a favorite pair of gloves. This is my inspirational hat, and when I am painting and on my videos, there will be relaxing music. I'll share some quotes from some of the masters, such as Picasso, uh, contemporaries. Um, I consider him a master because it inspires me. Bob Ross, an excellent oil painter, fantastic landscape painter. I learned a lot from him, um, and we'll just have a lot of fun. What I'm going to suggest you do right now is just go on uh, Google or whatever your search is and search out images of things you like, whether it be lighthouses, horses, uh, seascapes, landscapes, old farms, old trucks in the field. Find some pictures you like and give yourself some idea of what you would like to create and yeah, I'll print off the pictures, put them in a file. I have a file full of stuff that, you know, I want to paint. I keep keep it in my phone. I keep it in my filing cabinets and folders, and they're all over the place. And when I can't come up with my own inspiration, then I'll turn around and say, okay, I'm going to paint this. Most importantly, make your place fun. This is a little um, solarium that came in the condo. And I don't have anything for solariums, you know, like plants and such. My plants on the table here, which you can probably see, are dollar store plastic flowers, but they kind of look good. You got a picture of my brother down there. The photo's getting a little whacked out, so I'm going to try to get that replaced. And just everything in my studio is just stuff that brings me joy. I got a couple of paintings on the wall. I got some way up there somewhere. Well, I can't see them. Oh, I had to take a couple down. That's right. And if we get a little bit closer, you will see my ridiculous paints, paint brushes. And mind you, that's only one tenth of what I did have. And then you'll see that there's some marker pens there, um, a bottle of wine, of course, and some pictures of stuff that I'm going to paint. I just painted this one here. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to put this into a nice road scenery. But that's it. You know, it's... Whoop! 
easy peasy. And I'm just getting used to working this camera thing, so forgive me. This is uh, kind of a test video. Might help if I open the legs on the tripod. Oh my goodness gracious me. Anyhow, I'm just testing this out, having fun. So, I want to make sure that when I do my painting, everybody can see what's going on. So, I guess I have to raise this up. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. So now if I'm painting, you can see what I'm doing. Excellent. Anyhow, this was fun.